given that you're going to be executing, you know, thousands, tens of thousands of commands with bash, it's actually quite useful to learn some of these keyboard shortcuts because they will save you a lot of time. So let's go through these with a little demo. Um, if we do head star ptt star gbk, so I've got a um, tool, by the way, that will show the things I'm typing in over here. Um, that's going to start to become useful right now. So watch me type control A, and I go to the beginning of the line. So it's a caret and then an A. Control E, and I go to the end of the line. Okay, so control A, control E, control A, control E. So that gets me back and forth. Uh, if I want to go to the beginning and then kill the line, it's control A, then followed by control K. If I use control P, I can look at previous commands like so. So I'm going up in the history. And if I use control N, I can also come down in the history towards the, you know, back the way that we just came. If, if we do control R, I can look for things that say, said homo sapiens. And I can autocomplete it like that. Um, and if I hit control F, I can move forward and control B, I can move backwards. Just like I can move forward one character with control F and backwards with control B, I can move backwards an entire word at a time by doing meta B or forwards with meta F. If I so desire, I can also hit control K to kill everything from the, that position forwards and then control Y to yank it uh, and to bring it back. If I hit control Y again, then it brings it back yet again. If I hit control shift underscore, it goes away. So I can yank and yank and then throw it away and then throw it away again. So it's undo. In addition to all of the other bash shortcuts, which you can kind of take a look at, there's a few more that deserve particular mention. Suppose that we type in commands like the quick brown fox. Um, we can then hit control C to go to the next line. That basically aborts a current command. Control C is a very useful thing. You can hit it all the times during bash uh, to um, stop what is currently happening and abort and return you to the prompt. Um, in this case, we've got a little bit of a mess at the top and maybe we don't want that. Um, we can get more of a mess if we do something like wget dash dash help. Now we've got the whole screen is filled with stuff. How do we get rid of that? Simple. We hit control L like so. And that clears the entire screen. Um, so that's quite useful. You know, we can do this again with rsync help. And what we can actually do here is type clear as well. And that is actually equivalent to control L for most purposes. The last uh, command, it's not even really a command or a shortcut, but uh, we've been typing exit and enter to leave a, a prompt. The other thing you can do is just hit control D.